what is the other difference between James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble Space Telescope? What are the other differences? Number one, it is farther, farther from Earth. That means farther from Sun as well. And uh, why, why is it good that it is farther from Sun? Well, it is cooler now. Now, Sun is filled with photons and it's like the closest source of light, right? So, you know that if you are in a city, you will not be able to see the stars that well. Why is that? Well, because your eyes are all blinded by the lights around you, the lights of the city, the street lights or the houses lights and all those things. You can also say that your eyes are saturated from the light of the places all around you. That is why you are not able to see lights from a distance. So that star, which is millions of light years away, might be very bright, but at the same time, it's far away. So it is very dim. So the amount of light that is coming to your eyes from that star is very low. So you will not be able to see it. And better way to explain it would be you will not see the stars in the daytime. Right. But what if you go to the countryside you go to villages and then you'll be able to see stars better because now your eyes are not that saturated so in a similar manner when you place a telescope or a spacecraft craft far away from sun or farther away from sun it is in a better position to see much more distant objects because distant objects automatically will be having very low amount of energy or electromagnetic waves transmitted towards you so you'll be kind of in a shadow trying to look a distant place that's the whole simple science behind that so if you do not know the numbers are hubble space telescope is at a distance of close to 500 kilometers from earth and james Webb space telescope is at a distance of 1.5 million kilometers from earth it's farther away than even moon which is close to 300,000 kilometers. So that is one big difference between the Hubble and the JWST. And that is what basically makes it a lot better. The second big difference would be that it is a lot bigger. Now, a lot of people have been using this comparison as big as a tennis court, right? Well, the actual numbers are 6.5 meter from end to end. Obviously, it is not a circle, so I cannot use the term diameter. But if you look at the area, it is 24 meters square. So it is bigger. Now why, why do we need bigger? Well, obviously, if you have bigger than bigger mirror, then you are going to capture more of light that is coming from the distant objects. So the scientists actually wanted it to be a lot more bigger, but they could not because of the limitation. So if you look at the biggest carrier that we have, that is... Uh, the iron 5 of ESA, then it is having only a diameter of 5.4 meter, right? The payload capacity, I'm talking about that, the diameter of the payload. So it is only 5.4 meter in diameter. And as you can see that we are already having a bigger, bigger telescope. So it is a big old folding mechanism. And what do we call it? That paper kind of thing that we do? I'm forgetting the name, but it's a big thing these days when it comes to science and engineering because they are just exploring that. Came up from came out from Japan, I think. But anyways, they had to fold the whole telescope and uh, so that it can fit in the payload bin of ESA's Arian five. Arian five. So they want it to be as big as possible, and uh, since it is already bigger than Hubble telescope, so obviously it is much better. And the third one is that its sensors are more focused towards infrared. So because of these three things, it is going to be having much higher capacity than the Hubble telescope. I think that we have covered an important part of why James Webb Space Telescope is different from Hubble telescope. What are the main differences? Why it is much better? How it is going to overcome the limitations of Hubble telescope? And uh, we ended up discussing why it has to be maximum this big, cannot be bigger because of our propulsion limitations. All right, now maybe, maybe Elon Musk will help us out. Now, other few things is that Hubble telescope itself was pretty good. 
it is still pretty good it's, there's still some time before it dies officially and huge difference between hubble and jwst would be jwst is not repairable so there are a lot of missions that has already taken place to maybe replace some components of hubble telescope maybe replace it maybe fix some issues over there uh, the main carrier of that the one thing that established it was the space shuttle which has retired uh, but this jwst cannot be repaired mainly because it is 1.5 million kilometers away the farthest that a man has gone so far is still